How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World, the final chapter to a series of fantastic animated films. Does this third movie live up to its predecessor? Let's find out. How to Train Your Dragon 3, the final chapter to this epic trilogy. This trilogy has been a fantastic family, fantastical film that not a lot of fantastical, if you think fantasy, fantasy you think like Harry Potter or uh, Lord of the Rings or even Game of Thrones, but not, not all of them are suitable for the whole family to watch. And this one is just so suitable for either kids or adults or anything, they could watch this film and enjoy and dive right in into the world building, the dragons, the viking, it's all because of the animation and I'll just start off right there. This film has packed spectacular, amazing, is there any other adjective that could describe how great the animation is? The animation is off the charts, the effects of the water and the sand, there is particularly one scene that involves a sand and I just was mesmerized by, wow, they really put the details into the sand really well and it just blew me away. And Roger Deakins, who is uh, one of the best cinematographers right now working, he is a visual consultant for an animated film, which explains why the film looks just so well shot, and that's a weird phrase to say for an animated movie, but I don't know, there is something the way how the camera moves the cinematography, I guess, for an animated film, it just looks fantastic. Just to add up on the animation itself, one of the best animation work I've seen in a while. If you see the trailer, uh, you know the plot of this film is basically about they find uh, the, they find out that Toothless is not the only Night Fury around, and with that they have to investigate. Uh, not really investigate. They just go on a quest to find out about this hidden world of the dragons, and the journey that they go through. And so there is a particular scene that involves Toothless flirting with his other Night Fury, or they call it the Light Fury in this film, and it's it is just spectacular. Uh, storytelling because there is no dialogues in there but the crowd loves it I love it it's just spectacular animation fantastic once again that sand scene right there is the one that I'm talking about it's just such a great growth in terms of the characters we talk about Toothless but we haven't even touched about Hiccup and the other Vikings Astrid, Valka, the Rough Nut, Tough Nut twins duo they're actually very fantastic in this film every whenever they're on the scene Rough Nut and Tough Nut the twins the crowd loves it I love it too I already said that, very redundant. But Hiccup, one of the, my favorite thing about this trilogy is because we get to see Hiccup grow and mature starting when he's a kid in the first film and teenager and now he's very mature taking over the uh, Berk, the Viking colony. So it is just a progression of that. We don't see that very often. Yes, we see Pixar movie with like uh, Toy Story, I guess Andy Gross, but the toy doesn't really, you, can't, you don't really see them grow, you know? Or like cars, you don't really see the cars grow even though we sort of infer that Lightning McQueen was like aging. But this one you can really tell that Hiccup is mature, he's still the same person inside, but that just growth and everything, it really just pays off in this fantastical trilogy. And when you say fantasy, when you say something fantastical, you cannot uh, stop and not think about the score for How to Train Your Dragon, John Powell is back and the music for How to Train Your Dragon it's probably, they have one of the best animated themes that I could think of right now. The only weakness I would say for this film is the villain. The villain is very lacking. Uh, if I'm being honest, this is probably the weakest out of the three, three, out of the three films. I still like the first one the best right now, I think. I don't want to state it out there in the world because I just watched this, I just watched the third one. And I've seen the second one for the first time a few weeks ago, so I don't want to declare that right now. But I, I am daring enough to say that this is probably the weakest one out of the three. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad movie. I still, I truly love this movie. And despite the weak villain, and the villain is honestly just there. The story is revolving around Hiccup and Toothless. And I know I say fantastic a lot, forgive me for that. But that's just a way how I describe this film. And... The, the thing that pays off the most about this film is the ending. It has a very emotionally satisfying ending. 
the I will probably say the last 15 minutes of this film is the best parts of the film probably the best parts of the whole trilogy and it is just so satisfying it has a beautiful conclusion to the whole trilogy as a whole the whole film it's just something that you you will definitely be satisfied with this ending I don't know how else they could have done it it's just masterful filmmaking in terms of story, in terms of animation, in terms of the just the conclusion of this three arc film, and it's it's just fan. Once again, I'm gonna say it. It's just fantastic. This is a great film. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of film this year, which is why I haven't made a lot of reviews. But I am there to say that this is probably the best film of the year so far. And with that, I will give this movie uh, 8.0. Guys, what do you think of this film? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Tell me in the comment section below. If you have seen it, tell me which one of the three, uh, Hot Rain Dragon 1, Hot Rain Dragon 2, and this one, The Hidden World, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Engage in the conversation. Tell me if you disagree or agree with my thoughts as well in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see the channel to grow, all you have to do is click the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews, trailer reaction, all those kind of movie related stuff, I promise you I'll be making more. And also my podcast, the Councilman Podcast, we're off and running. Hopefully we're getting more consistent this year, but just subscribe to my channel to be up to date with all of that. And follow me on social media, Jay Dharma. And aside from that, until next time guys, Jao out.